Right now to breaking news, police in pursuit of a grand theft auto suspect tonight in Orange County. We want to head right up to Desmond Shaw overhead live in SkyCal with the details. Desmond? Well, Chauncey and Susie, pretty crazy driving here by uh, this suspect as we are in Long Beach here, Redondo Avenue. Wow, look at this. This is a, a BMW, definitely a, a vehicle that is uh, capable of driving these speeds. I'm not sure if this is an M3 or what, but it has dealer plates. They're calling this grand theft. So uh, it, we're just kind of putting two and two together. I'm thinking that this vehicle may have been stolen from a dealership because it has those dealer plates. Look at these speeds here, 70 miles an hour on Pacific Coast Highway. It's a really dangerous one here. They may have actually backed off on the ground because this was getting uh, so dangerous. We're still trying to figure out where this all began from the chatter from the law enforcement helicopter overhead, it's, which has actually been Anaheim PD. It sounds like this may have started in Santa Ana. We've been hearing this though on a lot of different frequencies, still trying to confirm uh, some details, but really crazy driving here. Uh, now the Los Alamitos traffic circle uh, mm. that this uh, suspect is getting into, which can be kind of difficult for some people to navigate. Now coming out of the traffic circle, continuing on a Pacific Coast Highway. Oh. Look at the uh, desperate driving here going on, Chauncey and Susie. Uh, Desmond, any idea if there are any other people inside this car besides the driver? No, I would not clear at this mm -hmm. point. And, uh, you know, we've got that super dark tint, yep. uh, which is kind of crazy if this is a, a dealer vehicle. Uh, let's see where they're going, though, now at this point, to Zimino Way. Uh, looks like, oh, uh, what do you know? Are mm. we going into a parking structure to try to ditch the helicopter? might be doing just that. Whoa, really close there. Yep. yep, into the parking structure. As a matter of fact, I know for a fact that we have had pursuits end at this exact parking structure. Zimino Way near the outer traffic circle. I remember another one very specifically that uh, came to an end. And unfortunately, this is what happens, you know, when law enforcement backs off on the ground for public safety reasons. It gives these suspects uh, some time, a little bit of leeway. They go into a, a parking garage to evade law enforcement and our eyes from overhead, and it just makes it too easy uh, for these suspects to, as they say, uh, get into the wind and uh, evade uh, capture, Susie and Chauncey. Yeah, Desmond, you talked about police uh, uh, stepping back here because of how crazy the driver was mm -hmm. going and the speeds. Uh, talk about what, what you saw before we came to you. I guess this driver must have really been uh, driving crazy and going some high speeds for police to uh, back off out of fear of you know, safety mm -hmm. concerns. Yeah, no, absolutely, Chauncey. In fact, it was pretty hard for us to to find this vehicle, and it sounds like law enforcement's helicopter was having trouble keeping up because they were driving so crazy, zigging and zagging, turning left, turning right, going north, going east, like just all kinds of crazy maneuvers. And so it took us a while to yeah, even pick this one up. And it's you know especially difficult when you don't have you know law enforcement flashing lights behind them. Now, I mean, you can see officers only now beginning to pull up at this point, and it's been you know, more than two minutes. Really, these suspects only need 30, 45 seconds to get into a multi-level parking yeah. garage like this, park the vehicle, and then, uh, you know, look, there's an LA Fitness right here. If that's open, they could just slip in very easily and blend in with everybody. Uh, they will, they will you know, in theory, be able to recover the vehicle. That's the good news, and it's obviously great that no one was injured in this, uh, but that suspect, the probability of them getting away mm -hmm. uh, is very, very high right now. And it really is because we have seen so many of these same instances where pursuit suspects go into these parking structures, and it's almost like they know the practice. They're familiar with it, so they do that for that reason because, obviously, when there are so many cars inside such a huge structure and so many levels and just so many officers who can go in there and start searching for them, they might have gone away by now or even, you know, later on, but they could, you know, change out of their clothes. They could, as Desmond was saying, blend in perhaps with the LA fitness crowd to, you know, who are going to the gym and just go inside the gym there and act like nothing's going on. So very okay. difficult for law enforcement agencies to catch up with people like this. But if you're just joining us here on KCAL News at 8, this is breaking news, a pursuit coming to an end uh, at the, of a grand theft auto suspect in the city of Long Beach right now. Uh, near the traffic circle, outer traffic circle in Long Beach there, and the suspect just pulled right into this parking structure with the ground units just arriving, and they were a little behind, not only because of the fact that uh, they actually pulled back the ground units because it was going to be a dangerous situation with the suspect driving so recklessly, going 70 miles per hour on surface streets. And Chelsea. going fast, even when entering this uh, parking structure, you see that car uh, barely missing mm -hmm. that car, and even on the road, barely 
barely missing the cars going in the opposite direction. Uh, once again, this is uh, uh, Anaheim PD um, on this chase. We're told that it may have met, it may, might have started in Santa Ana. Uh, this driver just uh, driving very crazy and going high speeds. Police calling this a grand theft auto with this BMW with uh, dealer's plate still left on the car. Uh, so, but this is where we are right now in this parking structure. We want to go back up to Desmond Shaw, who's joining us live from uh, Sky Cal. And Desmond, you got on this probably about um, you know five to seven minutes ago, but it seemed like it did take officers. Uh, a little bit to get there mm -hmm. so it gives us a, an idea of just how much that they kind of drifted back uh, from this suspect yeah it they it, it they had at least two or three minutes to catch up to get up to this uh, parking garage and that's really you know the double-edged sword that the police have to play uh, with these games when they have to balance public safety uh, you, you know, and but also the probability of suspects getting away. Now you see police, uh, they're all pulling up here and trying to lock down this area and they were somehow able to get a suspect description. We just heard on the radio uh, that they believe it is a black female wearing a gray sweater. So if this was taken from a dealership, maybe that's how they got the suspect's description. I'm not sure how else they could have gotten it because the windows, you know, were rolled up and there was a really dark black tint. Maybe at one point law enforcement from the helicopter was able to peer through the uh, the windshield, but that's the description that we heard them uh, give. But still, that's not a, a ton for them to go off of. Yeah. So uh, we've just seen it so many times, Susie, like you said, uh, especially with some uh, folks, if uh, this isn't their first rodeo, so to speak, uh, you know, this this is what they'll do. They will, if, if they know of a parking structure that they can go into, I know specifically this very parking structure uh, that, that has been used before mm. to evade law enforcement. There's a lot of parking garages in downtown as well. We have covered a lot of pursuits. It's something we've been seeing in recent years. Some suspects are getting privy to if they can just get a little bit of distance from the police uh, that they may be able to evade capture this time anyway uh, by driving into a parking structure or uh, something like this where they can uh, avoid the eyes from the sky. Yeah, so a very vague description of this grand theft auto suspect tonight, as Desmond was just alluding to, a black woman with a gray sweater on, although she could have changed out of that sweater or perhaps put something else on to disguise herself and, you know, make sure that she's not wearing the same thing that she was, you know, all the, obviously when this chase was happening. Um, but another thing is, is that at this point, you know, police are going to start bringing in some, um, you know, help and it might be perhaps a canine you know they can actually smell the suspect and maybe track him that way but as Desmond was talking about this is going to be very difficult to do given where they are right now Chauncey yeah and a, an easy escape too especially mm -hmm. if this suspect is familiar with this garage and with the businesses around um, this parking structure uh, Desmond I, I assume now that police are um, just kind of camped out here outside of this parking structure um, and they may be keeping people from going in and also coming out at this point. I would imagine so. They're they're going to seal this down and go level by level and you know see if if they can find anyone that matches that description or maybe they maybe someone will alert them if they say, you know, hey, I saw this person coming out of a car and, and running just as you pulled up. Are you looking for this person? You know, maybe they'll get lucky uh, in, in, in some regard in that way. But uh, like I said, it's it's just becoming uh, unfortunately fa fairly common and you know, the reality is, too, if this would have been like, like a violent crime, uh, the law enforcement almost certainly would have kept with it, regardless of the danger to public safety, because they really don't want that person to get away. But in recent years, we've been seeing that when we're dealing with property crime or minor infractions, police have, uh, regardless of the agency, uh, much more of a tendency to back off on these things. You know, they're going to uh, recover the property no one fortunately was injured in this you know you obviously you don't want to see someone getting away in a situation like this but uh, it's it's just probably the reality and uh, police may just kind of uh, you know kind of count their blessings or silver lining in this like i said that no one was hurt the property was recovered and the danger to the public for the moment is over you do see the canine right here and they have gotten them to the scene as a susie was saying but all it takes 30 45 seconds for these suspects yeah. to uh, get away and it, it's already been a lot longer than that there's a very high probability that the suspect is no longer you know in the parking garage and desmond are those other business attached to this uh, the other businesses there you're talking about the la fitness are they attached to this garage uh, are there more exits where this um, suspect could you know go down the levels or take the stairs or take a, an elevator 
Well, that's the thing too. You know, these parking garages usually have like four uh, staircases, one on each corner, and then you've got you know a couple of elevators as well. And uh, the, the suspect would have just been able to get out easily before they were able to seal all of that off. It's unclear if there's a direct entrance to that LA Fitness from the parking garage, but probably uh, you know, when you have a, a lot of businesses like this that are you know directly attached to a parking garage, they'll just have a separate entrance right there in the middle of the garage so that you don't have to go down you know, and then back up again uh, in, a, in another elevator or stairwell. So yeah, lots of entry and exit points for sure uh, on this one. Uh, although, you know, I'm, it's not clear if this if this 24 hour fitness is open. Uh, a lot of times with these businesses in a business park, they kind of just operate normal business hours. So uh, very possible that it's uh, not open, not, you know, entirely sure. But, you know, not only do you have the parking garage, you also have these trees on the perimeter. It just seems like in this instance, the way this has gone down, that it was just way too easy uh, for the suspect to evade law enforcement. Sure, and if you're just joining us here on KCAL News again, this is breaking news. The search for a pursuit suspect inside a parking garage now after a wild pursuit that started, we believe, in the city of Santa Ana in Orange County with some wild driving, especially on surface streets in Long Beach on the right side of your screen. That's what we're showing you right now. You can see that car weaving in and out of traffic, sometimes on the wrong side of the road.